are there differences in how these situations are handled on on ditches where it's private land versus state-owned land? What are what would be the difference in the procedures for the repairs and the notifications and those types of things? Mr. Keene, uh, Mr. Chairman, Representative, uh, I believe the process is still the same. Uh, again, we're talking about a Chapter 103E publicly administered system. Your question then is is what about it being on private land versus public land? And I presume then that that uh, we're talking about maybe uh, where a public system is on CONCON uh, uh, -con land, consolidated conservation land. Um, I don't think that there's any difference in how these provisions would uh, be implemented compared to the existing process, if you will, of, of drainage law. Mr. Chairman and members, uh, John Jasky, Director of Board of Water and Soil Resources. I think the question from Representative Fabian was, would this piece of legislation uh, impact public lands versus private lands on a ditch system repair specifically? And the answer, I believe, would be no, because it's not changing the apportionment of who pays for what parts of projects. It's simply allowing certain types of practices, a two-stage ditch, as Mr. Kane described, to, to be one of the options. The procedures for notification and the due process that were described would not be changed by this bill. 